The gods are once more choosing champions. Since the time of Homer, the gods have forsworn meddling in the affairs of mortals. Even a century ago in Greece's darkest hour, when 300 mortals stood defiant against the Persian god-king Xerxes, the Olympic gods remained aloof in their mountain home. Yet, in Athens, in Sparta, in Thebes, in Rhodes, and in every other city-state, the Olympian gods are picking mortals to do their bidding. Each god has their own preferences. Zeus picks the strongest and most courageous. Ever vigilant Hecate favours those who protect the boundaries, but spiteful Ares chooses those who revel in the chaos and suffering of war. The mortals come from all walks of life. Anyone can be a champion, but why do the gods need them now? There are Romans everywhere, and the temple oracles spout doom-laden riddles. Mighty Sparta has been humbled by the slaves it once ruled, and in democratic Athens thinkers question the very nature of the gods. To the west, Carthage dominates the seas, and Rome now rules the Italian peninsula. Yet there is something else. A sense of desperation. In Tartarus, the Titans are gaining power. And choosing their own champions. The Olympians need heroes to foil the plots of the Titans. But the gods are short-tempered and vicious, narcissistic and uncaring, even towards their own champions. Olympian politics is a maze of petty rivalty, rivalries and ancient grudges, any of which may trap an unwary hero. Fighting fantastic beasts and titanic agents is the easy part of a champion's life. Despite the almost certainty of death, all true Greeks wish to be champions. Heroes whose epic adventures will be retold through history. Step forward, heroes, and claim your place in a new age of 